Um, again, we realized that we hadn't actually looked in specific detail nationally in our veterans to see what neuromyelitis optica looked like. So again, we looked nationally at all of our veteran data. We went back um, over the past um, five years um, and um, looking at by sort of the coding diagnosis um, we obviously got several hits on the coding diagnosis when people were considering it, but then when we you know, looked at every single veteran, um, came up with a, a little over 50 veterans um, carrying the diagnosis in the VA system. And the reason we did this uh, was that, a, a couple reasons. One, we wanted to know um, what did neuromyelitis optica look like? Did we fall in line with what we expect the rate to be nationally? But we also wanted uh, to identify these veterans so that we can make sure that they're getting excellent care. And so obviously the first step was to know where they are and, and what do they look like and what are their needs. And the next step is going to be um, similar to our MS centers of excellence in the VA. The next step will be, okay, let's make sure that we are giving you everything we have to offer. We want you to know we're here too. Um, we do have, you know, the expertise uh, to treat you and, and make sure that any questions or services you need, you're aware that they're available in the VA. So that was really the point of doing it. We had to identify the population, um, see if there was anything you need to learn about them, and, and, there, um, and then from there sort of build up and make sure that there aren't any additional services we're not already offering, and to make sure the veterans know all of the services that are available for NMO.